Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here, and I'm continuing with every exam question that has ever been asked. And in this one, I'm looking at a very small topic, which is called capture recapture. It's kind of like a specific type of sort of um, proportion type question. And there's only two of them that have been done, but I'm going to show you how we do these ones that we've got here. So this one is from a non-calculator paper, and it's to do with capture recapture because of the fact we know about some of the proportions that are in here. So it says that there are p counters in a bag and 12 of the counters are yellow. So immediately what I'm going to want to think about is that 12 out of P, that is representing the proportion of the yellow in the bag. It says that Shafiq takes at random 30 counters from the bag and five of these 30 counters are yellow. So this is the proportion of yellow that's in the bag and we know that the proportion of yellow is going to be same as the five out of the 30. Now you'll see why it seems in to fall into this capture recapture one when we look at the next example where actually they're capturing and recapturing things. For now it just kind of feels like a proportion type question. So what we need to do is find out what p is equal to, and I guess the way we can do that is I can multiply the p up to the other side and the 30 up to the other side, so that I get 12 times 30 is equal to 5p. Now, I could actually start off by dividing by 5 on both sides, because 30 divides by 5 really nicely. So if I divide this side by 5, I'm actually going to divide this side by 5 before I even do the multiplication. And 30 divided by 5 is going to be 6. Now you don't need to multiply, you don't need to divide both of these things by 5, because that would actually be dividing it by 25. So just only one part needs to be divided by 5. And that is what p is equal to. Now it's a non-calculator. 12 times 6 is 72, so that we get the number of counters in a bag is going to be 72. And that's because 12 out of 72 is the same as 5 out of 30, if you think about that as equivalent fractions that we've got there. Let's see if we've got this one right. We've got the 72, and we've got the idea of these things being written. Now, I've put this under probability and statistics, but quite easily this could have fallen under a different category. Now this question, I think, will give you an idea about why I call this capture recapture, because again, from a non-calculator paper, it says that Shirley wants to find an estimate for the number of bees in her hive. On Monday, she catches 90 of the bees. There's the capture part. She puts a mark on each bee and returns them to her hive. On Tuesday, she captures 120 of the bees. So this is the recapture bit because she's catching them again. She finds that 20 of these bees have been marked. Work out an estimate for the total number of bees in her hive. Well, we know on the Monday that she catches 90 of them and she puts a mark on them. So she has put a mark on 90 out of all of the bees that are in the hive. And on Tuesday, she catches 120 bees and she puts a mark on 20 of them. So we would expect the proportion of them who have a mark to be the same. These two things that we've got here, the proportion that have a mark on them should be this proportion that have a mark on them. So what we need to do now is think about solving this equation. So the x is going to multiply up and the 120 is going to multiply up as well. That will give us this equation where we have 90 multiplied by 120 equals 20x. Now if you wanted to, you could actually multiply this out and then divide it by 20. I'm actually just going to start off by dividing this by 20. And if I divide this by 20, I'm not going to do both of them divided by 20. I'll just do this one divided by 20. So if I do 120 divided by 20, I'm going to get 6. So that means that x is 90 times 6. Well, 9 times 6 is 54, so x is going to be 540. We would expect the total number of the bees in the hive to be 540. And that's because we want the proportion to be the same. 20 out of 120, that's a sixth of it. So 90 would have to be out of 540. And you could answer that in different ways. So as long as you end up with 540, I'm sure you're beginning to get full marks on that. Shirley assumes that none of the marks has rubbed off between Monday and Tuesday. If Shirley's assumption is wrong, explain what effect this would have on your answer to part A. Well, if some of them have rubbed off, this means that our answer would decrease. So what would this effect have had on our answer? This would decrease our answer to part A. And the reason it's going to decrease it is because instead of there being 90, this would be a smaller number that we've got here. If we think that some of these have rubbed off, so it'd be a smaller number here, smaller number here, which means overall the population would be smaller. So we'll double check that we've got these ones right. We've got 540, and if marks fall off, she will have overestimated, or there will be f fewer bees, or the amount will go down. So those are the correct ones that we've got. Now, there's only been those two questions on capture, recapture. And you know what? I probably could have put them in proportion, but I quite like them falling under this sort of statistics bit because they do kind of feel like they fit into that bit. 
Okay, so that's all of that on this topic. If you found it useful, please do like this video, check out all the other ones that I've got. And like I normally say in the beginning of these videos, I have got the whole of this document available to download. It's fully hyperlinked, so it should be really, really useful for your revision.